The diagnosis is mainly made through uh, lab tests, and there's a number of different lab tests. Um, the most uh, common ones are calcium and PTH. And so sometimes that diagnosis is really easy because both the calcium and the PTH are clearly abnormal. But there are more subtle forms of the disease where the calcium or the PTH could be within the normal range. I think the key is to look at the relationship between all the different uh, lab values and look at whether that relationship is normal or abnormal. It's really a question of whether the parathyroid gland is secreting too much hormone for the amount of calcium in your blood, or whether that is really just a normal or physiologic reaction. I think it also requires somebody that has a lot of experience looking at all of those lab tests and interpreting them and interpreting the relationship and distinguishing whether that relationship is truly normal or abnormal. Sometimes it does require more lab testing, getting things like urine studies, vitamin D levels, uh, kidney function tests. But usually if you are seeing someone that has a lot of experience interpreting all those labs, they can order the right tests and help get you the real diagnosis.